Let's back up a 
the ghost told me to stay. Marcy hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them what? Eternal life. You know, in John 10, 10, Jesus said, the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. But I am come that they might have life. And listen to this, more abundantly. Have it more abundantly. Ooh. I, you know, sometimes, God, you're better than I thought you were. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. I give them eternal life. My sheep hear my voice. They, and I know them, they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Nobody's going to get it out of my hand. And then he says, My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. Praise God. You can't get them out of my hand. You can't get them out of my Father's hand. And then he says this in John 10, 30. I and my Father are one. Yes. I used to know what that meant. But in some translations, it says, I and my Father are united. United. And, and, and I, I, one time I thought, well, he's saying a little the same thing. But that's not what he's saying. Because in John 17, about verse 20, he prayed that we would become one with God the Father. Well, and so that happened. I believe that happened at Pentecost when God gave us his spirit. But that didn't make us God. It united us with God. Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I love that. Praise God. And John 8, uh, John 10, 38. John 10, 38. Verse 37. If I don't do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you believe, do not believe me, believe the works that, and this to this, that you may know and believe the Father is in me and I in him. Now that's pretty good uni unification, isn't it? Praise God. Oh, there's nobody like Jesus. Right. Praise God. You know what? I believe there's something about Jesus that is God. Something else about Jesus is man. I think of it like this. John 3, 16. God so loved the world, he gave his only what? Begotten. Begotten. So, uh, I've said this, a father begets, a mother conceives. Then if the mother brings forth, yes. praise God, she got two jobs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, God gave his only begotten son. And doesn't say his eternal son. <laughs> no. Begotten. No, but there is something about Jesus that is eternal. <laughs> Yeah, praise the Lord. So, I believe God that dwelled in Jesus, he also begot the flesh of Jesus. Yes. So that flesh part of Jesus, the, the man they could see, the man that walked with them, the man that healed their sick, was the Son of God. He wasn't God the Son. The God part of him is God the Father. And, and this flesh, this man part of him, is God's son. Then when he rose from the dead, went up and sat on the throne in heaven and poured out his spirit upon people, that's the Holy Ghost. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Um, that was John 10, 38. Amen. Okay, let's look at John 12, 45. I'm just trying to show you what I see about Jesus. John 12 and, and uh, 45. Let's see, verse 40, 45. Yeah, hey, 45. He who sees me sees him who sent me. And yet, in Hebrews chapter 1 and, and in Colossians chapter 1, it says that uh, God's invisible. 
So Jesus is the image of the invisible God. <laughs> yes. And yet Jesus said, you can see the Father if you look at me. If you, in another one place, he said, if you had known me, you would have known the Father too. Well, when Jesus said they, they've seen me and my father, both of us, and hated both of us, he's talking about their rejection. Yeah. They could have received him by faith, but no, they rejected him. No. Oh, let's see. That was John 12, 45. Let's go to John 13 and verse 20. John 13, 20. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I send receives me. Isn't that good news? Yeah. Right there. But that's not all of it. He says, and who, who receives me? Who does he receive? Him that sent me. up in the sky and I see all in clouds and I think about this the world and how God made this yeah. and, and I think he's awesome uh, I, 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 God. the only way I've seen God or Jesus is by faith That's right. I, I believe inside me that they're inside me because I wasn't looking for Jesus he came looking for me, drew me into himself, and all I did was respond. Yeah. Praise God. The other you receive me, you receive him that sent me. Hallelujah. John 14, 7. See, I'm trying to show you scriptures of who I believe Jesus really is. I believe there's something about Jesus as man, and something about Jesus as God, and, and the God part the only God there is. You know, I've heard these guys on the radio say, talk about God the Father, God the Son, like there's two gods. And yet the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 8, 6, to the saints there's only one God, and that is the Father. The Bible talks about God the Father in, in about uh, 14, 15, 16 places, God the Father. But it never talks about God the Son. It never talks about God the Holy Ghost. Is the only God there is is God the Father. Hallelujah! And and uh, when I get to heaven, oh, I, even now He calls me Son. And now that's something else. The flesh of Jesus, the man of Jesus. You know what He calls me, brother? <laughs> Woo! That's what He calls me, brother. Yes, thank you, Lord. And the God part of Jesus. You know what he calls me? Son. Son. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, where was I? Uh, we went over John 14, 7, didn't we? Let's see. John 14, 9. Just a couple of verses later. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Let's back here. Let's read verse 7. Go on there. If you know me, you would have known my father also. From now on, you know him and have seen him. Wow. The only way you can see him is in Christ, though. Right. There's God. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father. And it's sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been? With you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but I love the scriptures. I love putting this together this last week. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. That was seven and nine. I have a few more scriptures. John 14, 10. Praise God. Do you not believe that I am in? I'm in the Father. And the Father in me. That's a pretty good unification. Yes. 
And you know us, in fact, like the Holy Ghost. You know John 17, see, John 10, 30, Jesus said, I and my Father are one. In John 17, 20, he, he prayed for, that we would be one with God. And so when he when he gave us the Holy Ghost, put his spirit in us, that united us with God. We're not God, but we're united with him. He's in us, and, and I, my spirit's in him. Right. Oh, wow. Amen. Praise God. John 14, 10, I'm in the Father, and he is in me. Verse 17, 14 and 17. I'm going to send you the spirit of truth in the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells, dwells with you and will be in you. Jesus was telling, telling them the disciples, he's with you. The spirit of truth. How was he with them? Because he was in Christ. And then he says that he's going to be in you. That happened. That that was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost when God poured out His Spirit. Praise God. Luke fourteen seventeen. Um, praise God. We covered that one, didn't we? Praise the Lord. Uh, John fifteen and twenty four. I've already mentioned this, but let's read it. John 15 and 24. Jesus said, If I have not done among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen, they have seen, and also hated both me and my Father. I, I, I'm telling you that John 15, uh, Five, John 5, 37, where Jesus said that you, you never seen my father's shape or heard his voice. And yet here he says, because you have rejected me. Oh, hallelujah. That's what it means. You would you the same as seeing God and hate him. Now God don't take that lightly. But he don't take lightly. That I love him. Right. That you love him. <laughs> yeah, right. praise God. Let's see, I'm, I'm about through here to show you things. John 15, 24, John 16, verse 3. And these things will I do. Well, he's talking about what people's going to do to him. The saints, these things they will do to you because they have not known me or the Father. You didn't know either one of them, see? If you know Jesus, you know God. Yeah. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know God. <laughs> I just think this is the greatest message in the world. If there's one God, I really believe that. Loves us. Yes. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and that who still believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And, and it says God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto Himself. When Jesus went to the cross, the Father went with Him. I, that's what I believe. I don't believe the Father left him alone. No. I believe the Father was there because the Bible says God is in Christ reconciled. When was he reconciled? By the death of his son. Praise God. Well, let's see. One or two more scriptures and then I'm going to quit. John 16 and verse 15. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. You know why I love that? All things, he said, all things the Father has are mine. And then in chapter 
or Romans chapter 8, he says, we are joint heirs with Christ. We inherit from God, but with Christ we're joint heirs. So what's, what's Jesus saying? If all things are his, all things are George's. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah, because I'm a joint heir. Praise right. God. John 16, 32. And, uh, I'm going to close with this. Praise God. John 16 and verse 32. Praise God. Jesus answered them. Do you not believe? Indeed, the hour is coming, yes, has now come, and you will be scattered each to his own. You will leave me alone. You will leave me. He's prophesying his death, his, that the disciples are going to forsake him. And he, he says this, I am not alone because the Father is with me. I just say again, the God part of Jesus is God the Father. The man part of Jesus is my brother, the Son of God. Praise God. You know what I have to comment? Scripture they want to share. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's just my pleasure to share this. I, I, I love this. I love to talk to people about it. Some people go on to hear it. But I infuse it. They don't want to hear it. Let's stand and go forward. Let's just worship him. Worship. God, I worship you. I worship you. Because I believe you're God. You're the Almighty. One of these days you're going to come and you're going to take us back to yourself and where you are, that's where we'll be. Abundant life. Thank you for it, Jesus. And I pray, God, that you bless us now. Go with each one. Draw us close to you in Jesus' name. Amen.